So this is a homemade LCD viewfinder that I made. Um, there's a few out there on the market, commercial ones, uh, particularly the Zacuto and the LCD VF. They're great. They're both great viewfinders. I like them both, but one thing that I uh, find lacking is um, the fact that they don't have binocular viewfinders. Um, the Zacuto and the LCD VF are, are very good, but I find that I get a lot of eye fatigue after prolonged use. So I decided to make one that has two lenses. I got the, I got the lenses from an old um, magnifying eye loop, and the one I have is about 20-30 years old, and because of that it's, it was actually made with glass lenses, which I find are very sharp and distortion free. You can get uh, magnifying loops nowadays, but they're usually made out of plastic, the lenses, which are okay, but not quite as distortion-free. The body of the viewfinder is made out of 1 8 inch thick acrylic plastic, as seen here. And I used something called Weld-On, an acrylic cement that bonded the pieces together. In fact, it actually welds the, the plastic together, so it creates a, creates a very tight bond. So this is the uh, viewfinder with some of the black tape removed, so you can see the clear acrylic plastic. Then I lined it with a black velvet um, matting material that's used for, for picture frames, just a, a mat board that I cut to size and lined it, and I find it's much less reflective than both the Zacuto and the LCD VF interior. Then on the edges, I cut a strip of uh, adhesive-backed foam sheet that you can get from any craft store, so it provides a nice soft cushioned um, surface that attaches, uh, touches the LCD screen, plus because there's some little bit of sponginess to it, it seals the light out. Now to connect it to my 5D Mark II, I use these small magnets. They're rare earth magnets, 1 8 inch thick. They're 5 8 inch long by 3 16 inch wide. And they mate to the 5D Mark II by these two small pieces of metal that I've glued on. Actually not glued on but stuck on with some special tape that I'll show you in a minute. It provides a very firm fit. The metal is just, I cut a piece of uh, uh, jigsaw blade off and ground down the, the teeth and it provides a nice small piece of metal, and then I bonded it to the 5D Mark II using this VHB tape from 3M. It's an incredible tape because it sticks really well, way better than any other double stick tape. Um, it's, about an in, it's about a millimeter thick, as you can see here. When you first put it on, uh, it's not that tacky, but over a period of 72 hours, it provides an incredibly firm bond um, that you can remove if you want to without leaving any, leaving any sticky adhesive behind, but it really bonds well. And when you're using such a small piece of metal, you really need something that's going to stick well. So I found this, this works great. So then the, my viewfinder just goes on like that, very similar to the LCD VF way of attaching it. And it's still easy enough to remove, just slide it off, but it goes on quite firmly. And uh, there you have it. Now he also made this little piece of quarter inch thick foam, also from the craft store, and shaped it so that it actually matches profile of my forehead so it provides a nice firm stabilized attach or rest against my forehead 
and it's comfortable. So just show you with the thing on. Now it's difficult to see through here, but you get a really nice view. You can see sharply from edge to edge, corner to corner, the whole viewfinder. Here's another shot of the viewfinder looking through it. So you can see it's sharp edge to edge. Now you, you'll see a bit of glare. Um, that's not um, from the viewfinder, that's from some light reflecting off the camcorder that I'm using. Yeah, so you don't see that in real life. Here's just a still image on there. Again, you can see sharp corner to corner, edge to edge. For outdoor use, I have a little mask that goes over it and then attaches by a piece of elasticized Velcro. There you go. So it cuts out the light from three sides, which uh, prevents the screen from washing out in direct sunlight. And I can still see where I'm going if I'm walking while filming. Again, that looks like that on the camera. Ninety percent of the time I use it indoors or in low light, so this is sufficient to provide a nice clear view of the screen. Um, I also have another mask that I made that completely seals out the light on all four sides. That just flips over, uh, slips over top too. It's a little um, confining, but it does work in case um, I wanted to totally block out all light. From reaching the screen. It fits on there again too. So there you have it, my version of the LCD viewfinder. Um, two things I like about it is that it provides a binocular view which is a much more natural way of viewing the LCD screen and I don't get the eye fatigue that I got from using one-eyed ones and a nice clear view for manual focusing and stabilizing it against my forehead. Thanks for watching.